Hello guys and Happy New Year to you all. It's just started hailstoning so I hope you can hear me okay. I'm in the alpaca barn as usual and just with my boys to finish eating and I just thought I would introduce this week's video which will just be really a continuation of last the last video which was where we were cutting out the windows for the new shipping container and getting ready for putting the, the windows in and, and getting it all sprayed so i'm hoping we're going to get that finished we had a really nice relaxing christmas break and to be honest i wish i was still sat on the sofa because it's freezing um it's constantly raining or hailstoning or some kind of not very nice weather so the fields are really muddy and horrible and it's just not very pleasant out there at the moment i want to be watching netflix on the sofa rob got me a heated blanket for christmas and i literally have not stopped playing on the sofa with it on my legs so um i'm just going to change the camera around because there's a lovely rainbow forming that i want you to see and then i'll take you over to the container and show you what's going on with that so we've got, have you got two sides of that cut out or three? Top of the side, yeah. So we're just going to cut the rest of my window side out today and the door and then weld the frames in. Yeah. And then, yep. Yeah, so then the, our, my door and window will be in. And it's actually quite a nice day today, so maybe we could do some painting. We'll see. So this cable and it's sliced it up and it sparked. Dangerous work. <laughs> Happy with the fit. Fits like a glove. So we had to make a couple of tweaks because it didn't quite fit in but luckily it, the hole was too small and not too big. But now Rob's going to weld that in yep. and then we can cut out for the door. So today is another day and we have managed to get both of the door and window on the other side cut out and Rob's just welding the frame into it now. So what I've done just now is I've toweled off the outside of the container because it was quite wet. So today is I think the only dry day of the week or maybe Saturday is going to be a bit drier. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to get a coat of paint on the container before it gets dark tonight. So once he's finished his welding, then hopefully we'll be able to spray a coat of um, undercoat primer, red oxide, and then I don't know if we'll get a chance to put the colour on, but maybe we'll get a chance to do it on the weekend. By the way, guys, I would love to get to know some of my viewers a little bit better. So please leave me a comment down below and tell me where you're watching from. I know that I've got a lot of viewers in the US, which is cool. And uh, yeah, let me know where you're from. Let me know why you're watching. Is it because you're into flower farming? Is it because you like the bits and different bits and bobs that we do? Or is it just something different, totally different for you to watch? And then also, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments box below. And um, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to film a how I got into flower farming, sort of how life turned out this way um, video. So if you want to know anything about me or about the business, then ask away and I'll try to address those in that upcoming video. So thanks a lot and interact with me. I really want to get to know some people more and I can tailor the videos to the kind of audience that I've got. So that would be great. Thanks. <laughs> So 
so we finally made some progress today we got the full side of the container sprayed which is really good and we've got quite a bit of paint on the window and door frames so they're almost ready to go in as well so the other thing that we've got done today is we've ordered all of the wood for framing out the inside of the container so that's ordered it's coming on friday so we can start building frames and putting them in and the only thing i need to do tonight is look for a vapor barrier we're going to put visqueen on the back wall then rock wall or some similar insulation and then we're going to put foil uh, vapor barrier some eco foil product so that the insulation is sandwiched in between those two layers so we're not going to get any condensation or any problems with it not being dry in here which is one of the major problems with shipping containers because they sweat a lot so yeah and hopefully the level of insulation will be good enough to keep us cool in the summer and keep us warm in the winter um, i'm planning on putting a log burner in my side so i'm hoping that's going to work well and then eventually when i've got a bit more cash handy i might even put aircon in just because it will help to keep flowers cool in summer but we'll see about that so yeah a bit more progress coming along this week hopefully we'll get to move it soon and put the windows and doors in so I've just finished work and I think that Rob has moved the con shipping container into place. So I'm really excited to finish work and go and have a look at that and then uh, see where we are um, from there and see what we can get cracking with this afternoon. So the container has been moved into the place where the modular building was before and we've got the first door frame fitted here. I wasn't sure how the external paint was going to go with the grey um, paint of the PVC windows but actually it, it goes quite well and it looks fine so that's one less thing to worry about. Um, it, it's not exactly in the position that it's going to be in because we've got a staff toilet door that is behind here um, so that that needs moving so that we can push it back to the wall and then obviously we need to prep this side for painting I don't think we're going to paint the back just because it's going to be a bit of a waste of paint you're not actually going to see it um, but the roof still needs painting and then obviously it all needs a second coat because it's only had one coat so we're going to carry on getting the windows and doors dried because the paint is still a little bit wet on those and then we can get the windows and door frames fitted and then this weekend we're hoping to frame it out so we'll see about that set of doors had white handles and one had gold so we've undercoated them with red oxide and then I had some spare rose gold paint so I don't know how it's gonna look we can always buy new handles or paint them again if it looks rubbish but I'd love to know what you think grey doors rose gold handles woohoo we've got all the doors and windows fitted and it all went well. Um, why have you taken that back off? Because I think I've got the wrong pin in. Uh, so we've just started putting the door handles in and we're loving the rose gold colour. You like it as well, don't you? Mm, I love it, yeah. So that's a winner. And it's looking really nice and bright. It'll be nice when we get some LEDs put up in here. And the sunrise is in this direction as well. So we'll get some nice sunrise views when we're busy working on the flowers in summer. And I'm gonna keep this floor. We're gonna, now that it's got the doors and windows in, we can put the blow heater in here and get it dried. And then we can start working on 
sanding the floor and getting that ready and things. Alex is still not sure about whether she's going to keep her floor in, so we'll see about that. So that is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you like the way that the container looks. I certainly am very happy with it and I think Rob is too. So we have just had the wood delivered for the uh, framing of the inside of the container. So we might get going with that this weekend, but I'll make that into a separate video. So uh, we've pretty much got the external of the shipping container finished now. Apart from just probably a few tweaks, bit of cladding, just to soften it up a bit and make it look I like the industrial look, but make it look a little bit less industrial, maybe just with a bit of wood and things like that. So hopefully you'll come along and watch our next video where we will be framing out the inside of the shipping container and putting vents in and things like that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.